In today's video, is Steam Islam Makachev scared of Charles Oliveira? Cyril Ghan explains why he's not interested in top heavyweight contender Tom Aspinall. Michael Bisping agrees with the Shevchenko sisters. Valentina Shevchenko's sister is furious at Notcha UFC judge. And Daryl Till shrudges off fan worries after concerning photo surfaces online. This is MMA Cool. Is Team Islam Makachev scared of Charles Oliveira? Moving on, Islam Makachev's coach Javier Mendez is preparing his student to face a much improved version of Charles Oliveira at UFC 294. Makachev first fought Oliveira at UFC 280 where he won the vacant lightweight title by dominating Dobronx and submitting him in the second round. Oliveira bounced back from the defeat by dispatching Benel Dariush in the first round at UFC 289 where he blew Mendez out of the water. The American Kickboxing Academy head coach believes Oliveira will be far more dangerous at UFC 294, where Makachev puts his lightweight title on the line against the former champion. Mendez seems pretty worried and I quote, I can feel the fire in Oliveira, he's going to be more motivated than ever because he misses being the champion. He misses that limelight, and his fight with Darius told you that he's serious. He did things to Darius that we didn't think was going to happen. He just totally destroyed him everywhere. So this is a guy more determined than ever. I'm not saying the first time around he underestimated Islam. He did not, but I think he might have been more confident than he should have. So this time around he's not going to be overconfident and he knows Islam is the most dangerous guy he fought. I was thinking that Benil Darush earned the title shot and uh, you know, I totally 100% ignored uh you know Oliveris Charles you know as as someone that I thought could win I was thinking he could win but to be honest with you I kind of just ruled him out you know as as not going to have a spectacular performance who do you think will win the upcoming lightweight title fight between Islam Makachev and Charles Oliveira at UFC 294 Cyril Ghan explains why he's not interested in Tom Aspinall Cyril Ghan thinks a non-title fight with fellow heavyweight Tom Aspinall makes no sense. Ghan has fought for the UFC heavyweight title twice, losing both times, most recently losing to John Jones in their vacant heavyweight title fight at UFC 285. In his most recent fight, Ghan dispatched Sergei Spivak to return to winning ways, and he's now hoping to fight the winner of John Jones versus Stipe Miocic. Anything other than that makes no sense for the Frenchman. And any idea what is next for you? I saw Tom Aspinall was there. It seemed like he was interested. Uh, what do you think happens yeah, to next? Uh, I know a lot of people talk about Aspinall, but this doesn't make sense for me. Like, uh, like every time uh, with my management, uh, they did a really great job all of my career. You see, that's why he was really so fast. And now I just want to go to the belt. I'm number one, Katanda, he's number four. It doesn't make sense. I just want to go now. I did it already. Like, uh, it was a big risk against this wrestler. So now I, I don't want to do, to make a, and to to have another risk. I just, I want to take a risk for, for something, for, for a big deal, you see? And uh, and I'm st I'm I'm gonna stay here for a long, for for uh, for a long time. So we're gonna have time with Thomas Pina for sure. We're gonna come. So no worries for the people. We're gonna do this fight. But now my my fight is not this one. I just want the belt and I want to go to the belt. So so what do you? Does Cyril Gunn deserve a title shot? Michael Bisping agrees with the Shevchenko sisters. Former UFC middleweight champ Michael Bisping tends to agree with the Shevchenko sisters. He believes Shevchenko won the fight three rounds to two, but even a victory by four rounds to one wouldn't have surprised him. Needless to say, Bisping was challenged by many MMA fans for his 4 to 1 scoreline as if it mattered. Bisping has now responded to his critics as well as given his thoughts on Mike Bell's controversial scorecard. Yeah, on how you score a fight. So, listen, opinions are like souls, everyone's got one, and apparently I'm the biggest asshole because if you go on Twitter, they're ripping me a new asshole right now because I say Valentina Shevchenko should have won that fight three rounds to two, maybe even four rounds to one. Round four was a close one, but still, let's go through it real quick. Which again, I can kind of understand that because maybe the shots from her on top were more damaging. Okay, I'll concede that. I'll concede that. Let's go with that, in fact. Let's go with that. Grasso wins that. Well, Shevchenko would have still won. She would have still won the fight 
three rounds to two, and that's official when you look at the scorecards. But referee Mike Bell gave a 10-8 round to Alexa Grasso in round five, and there's just no way. There was no way that that was a 10-8 round. Now, granted, the understanding of a 10-8 round is a little bit all over the place for a lot of people. Valentina Shevchenko's sister is furious at Notch a UFC judge. Antonia Shevchenko is absolutely furious at Judge Mike Bell for ruining her sister's potential crowning moment at Notcha UFC. The flyweight title fight between Shevchenko and champion Alexa Grasso ended in a split draw thanks to Mike Bell's controversial 10-8 fifth round score in favor of the Mexican. Antonia Heike feels her sister was robbed. Here is what Antonia said in an Instagram post and I quote, Valentina, you are our champion. I'm so sorry that instead of a deserved victory, the result of the fight was a draw, which makes me terribly angry and sad. That was because of the meanness of one judge who scored the fifth round as 10-8. Today, you are not with the belt because of that. I can't understand where that score came from. When half of the round, you outstriked your opponent with the hands and half of the round, she was taking your back and sitting there and holding the position. Yes, it was a control time, but no damage, so 10-8 in a round like that? Unfortunately, the judge could not and will not be able to explain his decision, and many martial arts experts around the world have many questions for him. You are my hero. Do you think Valentina Shevchenko was robbed? Darren Till shrugs off fan worries after concerning photos surfaces online. A recent photo of Darren Till posted by MMA Uncensored gave fans cause for concern as they believe the 30-year-old didn't look well. Till quickly debunked the comments and conspiracy theories. Here is what he said in a series of tweets and I quote, I see what you did there, MMA Uncensored, as you've done for a while now with me. I like the 2023 picture you've used of me as well, looking like absolute shit after a training session. So here is a photo from around two hours ago of me looking kind of fresh after some food. In a response to an MMA fan claiming that Till didn't look good, here is what the gorilla had to say. It's all good. It was just after a hard session in the gym this morning. This is me about an hour ago after food. Feel like I'm not looking bad to be fair. I read all the comments for once as well and none of you have a clue. I live a clean life. Injuries is what has been my burden. Social media can be a menace sometimes, no? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. We are MMA School. Thank you for your undivided attention and hope you enjoyed our content. If you enjoyed our video, then please don't forget to like and subscribe if you have not done so yet. Don't forget to keep your guard up. See you in the next video.